word. Hey everyone, this is Dusko Omaka as Thad Gamer, and this is When the Bell Tolls. We're gonna kinda get straight into this and see what we think. So straight into this probably short RPG Maker horror thing, When the Bell Tolls. Nehehehe. On a dark and cold Halloween night, Lady Elaine and her driver, Mr. James, ride home from a long journey. Oh boy. The wind whips violently and makes her shudder. She's never enjoyed traveling after dark, least of all in the woods. I hope Mr. James hurries. I wish to get out of these woods as soon as possible. What was that? Mr. James! <laughs> I crashed in the pumpkin patch, but of course. <laughs> oh boy. Why did we stop? Is everyone all, is everything alright? Oh, the horse and everyone just disappeared. Mr. James? And there was no sign of him. Or maybe there was a sign behind us. But in the distance, is the bell gonna toll? It's gonna be like a big old bell ring. So we look in the night sky. Ah, we're gonna look at the moon. Wind the bell tolls. <laughs> that guy's kind of a cheesy title card, but I liked it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's so dark out here. I need to find the light. Well, I don't remember the scene exactly. I was gonna say there's no light on top of this, obviously. Are we not gonna take the light? I'm pretty sure it would be removable. What do I know, I guess? Well, I guess we'll take this. Found lantern. Select lantern in your inventory to use it. Select it again to put it away. Oh, it's got the, the Mario game I played with last night had this inventory system too. Well, out we go. Guess we got things to explore. Can we only go behind us or can we also go ahead of us? We can go either direction actually. So what do you guys think? Should we check out behind us or should we check out in front of us? Which way sounds more invigorating? the left or to the right. I can, of course, go back inside the car, but, you know, we're not going to do that too much right now. Can't observe the pumpkins or anything, which is, you know, what it is. I guess we're going to start off by checking out behind us. See where we came from, not where we're headed to. So there's, oh, a dead end behind us. We just rode it from this direction. How could the road be blocked? Maybe a tree grew in the way right then. It's completely grown over. There's no way I can get through here. Well, there you go. It's grown over. I feel like there was a path up here, though. Because there was. Goddamn scarecrow just rustling in the wind. Well, now we know. We're trapped here. Except we have to go forward, I guess, to go with the exceptions here. There's a sign post there. Town of Crook, East. Crook Swamp, South. Boy, I love crooks. So there's a town and a swamp. Can I get to the swamp? Is someone there? Yeah, I'm questioning. Mr. James? I'm afraid not. Who are you? Are you alright? I'm stuck. What happened? I was trying to find my way out of the woods, and the branches started moving. So yeah, the trees came alive. I can't seem to free myself. Let me see if I can help you get out. I think we need something to free him. They're too thick. I need something to cut them with. I'm not going anywhere. Have a look around, see what you can find. 
Any luck? Well, now we know this guy needs some freeing. He needs us to cut him out of tree branches. And that does confirm that the path could have just simply grown behind us. Because that's what this place does, apparently. It grows tree branches out of the goddamn trees. Well, there's a graveyard over there. Let's check on down. A bridge into the murky swamp territory. The bridge has grown over. Well, I guess we're not going to the swamp too deep, at the very least. Into town I go? It seems. Let's go to sign up here. I'm missing. Nope. No, sorry. To Crook's Town I go. Sounds lovely. Oh, I need two people to cross in. I think I see what I must do here. The path has grown over. So, I need him to obviously get inside here. So, I need to free him. Let's see. That means the axe or whatever sharp, blunt object. It really just needs to be sharp. I'm looking for. Is there something in the back of my inventory again? This isn't my inventory, it's just a thing. I could burn him, and then he died burning alive. That's another topic entirely. There's only a few places we can even explore, so... Nothing around the Scarecrow, at the very least. I'm looking. Was there anything I can ask about? I'm looking to see if there's like any side departments I haven't noticed or anything. The hunt for an axe begins in the pumpkin patch. I know there's so many pumpkin patches. It's good old Halloween almost, and apparently this game's time. I guess it's supposed to be Halloween nights. So there's probably something Halloween-y going on. Those Halloween curses that everyone has to pay attention to and all that. The good old spirit of Halloween. Immediately, I'm not finding much. Oh, wait. Oh, I can drop over here to get an axe. Okay. I found an axe. That was just me mashing to figure that one out. I wouldn't have even noticed that. But hey, got an axe. We can now free the person. Of course, it was off in the lake. Still, though, let's free this guy. <coughs> the axe broke. Hi, sir. Thank you. He seems happy. If you don't mind me asking, where are you doing in the woods after nightfall? You seem confused. I was returning home when my car carriage stopped. A driver and horse disappeared. Oh boy. They couldn't have gone too far. It seems that every path out of here has closed itself off. How does something like this happen? Branches moving. It's the curse. Curse? You don't know about the curse? Well, tell me about expository character. It's getting late. These woods aren't going to be safe much longer. Let me take you to the town of Crook. I'll explain everything once we get there. No. I kind of need you, though. Yeah. Follow me. I would follow you, but I cannot move right now. Well, that happened. I'm just gonna leave his light behind. I feel like carrying a light source is probably a good idea at night. But... What was that? Ghost, we need to go. Don't touch them. They'll suck the life right out of you. This way. Let me save my game. And thus we avoided spooky, scary, default RPG Maker RTP ghosts. There we go, we've opened the door. He has nothing to say, he was just gonna help with the puzzle, I guess, then follow us. He's a very silent companion, I'm just gonna say. Well, let's investigate then. Sir, oh sirs. There's a lot of graves here at the very least. The doors are closed. The town of Crook is incredibly silent. The town looks dead. Does anyone even live here? Not anymore. Tell me about the curse. Give me the expository. Here it comes. Long ago, the people of this town discovered that there were a, what, what was I don't know what I said were, was a witch living here, hiding her powers and practicing magic in secret. The witch had a kind heart and posed no threat, but the people let their fear overcome them. 
When a child from the town went missing, the people panicked and blamed the witch. They burned her alive as punishment right here. That explains the ghost. Before she died, the witch lay a curse upon the town. No one could leave the town ever again. No children could be born. And there was nothing left for the people to do but die. And when they did, their souls were trapped here. Yeah, is that why we enter this town then? You're trying to avoid ghosts by entering into the ghost town? Sir, I think you're a warlock. Does that mean we can never leave? According to legend, there is a way to break the curse. Every year on Halloween night, the tormented souls of the town of Crook rise to haunt the area. It is said that on the night of... If one who is pure of heart can ring the town bell from sun, before sunrise, the curse will be lifted and the spirits will be free to move on and rest in eternal peace. Then we just have to ring the bell. Where is it? Well, that's a bit closer than anticipated. What heck? Ah, that's nothing. Make it through a few hops in the hips. Yeah. And thus we need to enter. Okay, sir. I guess we go inside. I can't get through. What, what should we do? There's a tomb that runs underneath the town. If we can find a way down there, there might be another entrance to the tower. Okay, looking for tombs, I guess. Somewhere in town, there is a tomb hidden about. Our objective is to find the entrance hidden away with the tombs. If I was a secret tomb entrance, where would I be hiding, is the question. path has grown over. We can go outside, though. Keep that in mind. I feel like what we're looking for is inside. Yep, over in the graveyard. I should have fucking figured. Is he gonna follow me, or am I just going in the lone areas? There are a lot of angry spirits in here. Are you sure you want to do this? It's the only way to leave this place, right? If the curses are broken tonight before sunrise, we'll be trapped here just like the souls of the townsfolk. That means, yes, I want to do this. I don't want to be... Tra what type of decision is that? Are you sure you want to do this? If we don't do it, we're going to become wandering spirits. And then we don't have a choice. Yeah, I'll continue on that one. Save my game before things go terribly, terribly wrong. Well, that was easy. The coffin is poking out strangely. I've already pressed it, sir. That ghost took my lantern. That's why we should take the other lantern that the guy left behind. We be big dummies. Obviously, this sticks out. Oh, there we go. Wandering spirits. Ah, uh, oh, I think you're a soul, sir. This all doesn't make much sense if you aren't. Oh, was there a ghost there? You guys didn't see it. I certainly didn't see it, so yeah. I... Let's resume. Okay. Yep, ghost takes my lantern. I think I know what I need to do. There's these buttons here. God damn it, sirs. Oh, is that. You can't see the spirits in the dark. I know. I mean, I know I understand the light thing, but the spirits being black in the dark is probably not a wise sign decision. Okay, so let's see if I can figure out a goddamn puzzle. There goes my light again. 
save a little bit of time, I'll make a save file here. Let me press one of these. God fuck. Resume. Get and do not get this puzzle. Okay, you know what? I think I finally do actually get it. So pressing that did not lift any of the things in here. Clicking this, what will it do? It made uh, them switch positions. So if I have that one clicked, and then I click this one. Are you gonna fucking help me at all? We can both push them in forcibly. You know what I just realized? There's other switches right here. God fucking dang it. Let's do it. I was overlooking that completely. 14 seconds. There must be a way to move these uh, platforms. Haha, <laughs> escape the time limit. I'm making these safe on cutbacks on glitch stuff. What am I even doing? What, what was I even for attempting to do right there? <clears throat> well, that's a thing. Seems like a very puzzly type game with these kind of type of puzzles. Give it a second, though. Hmm. There must be a way to move those platforms up. So it's not like a lifetime limit. I can hop to my doom. Do I get more lives when the time is up? No. My lives reset. Um, I don't, I don't get that room yet. I'll figure it out, hopefully. I mean, I kind of have to if I want to pass it, so it seems like a... This reminds me of a puzzle type deal. What do you guys think? There must be a way to move these platforms up. I will... Yeah. One does not simply keep on jumping to their deaths, I guess. I don't want to just keep on leaping at nothing, but what else can I interact with? Is it out here? I don't know. Ideas. I'm just gonna experiment with things. Let me click this. 
this again. Same results. Push that one out, then press this. I have no idea. Do you guys have any idea? I don't know what's altering anything at this point. <laughs> That one seems like a bit of a difficult one. There must be a way to move these platforms up. You don't say. Let me see. So those two are out and open. If I click that, does anything change in here? No, nothing changed at all. I feel like it's actually in this room, because nothing outside this room seems to alter this room that we're in right now, but... I obviously can't just keep on jumping for it. Did I get a running start? No. Searching goddamn walls for a second. I have nothing in my inventory, so... Does no one have any ideas? Because I literally have nothing. really even seem to interact with are these things. That's not really doing anything. It's not affecting anything in this room, so... There must be a way to move those platforms up. Yes, you claim, but yeah. I... I am completely at a loss. I'll continue to scan the walls, and I guess I'm gonna kill myself now, but yeah. I... Hmm. I'm not particularly amused. The last puzzle I could kind of understand. This one I don't even know where to begin with. I've tried and tried to move everything in the room. It doesn't actually seem to lead to anything. I understand that the time limit is for how long the lights are on, but why do my lights pop up and the lights are on? Why does it say I can move the platforms up? There's nothing in here to interact with. There's things to interact with in this room, but it seems like none of them actually do anything. So. Clicked in all the buttons. Does that do anything? No? Hmm. I was thinking there was like Indiana Jones and there's an invisible platform. I think is she will not jump out anywhere except on these. So it can't really be that because there's only one place I can actually jump out at. Like literally I've interacted with every wall, every possibly interact with in this room. Maybe turn on the first slide and dodge the end enemies? You can jump when it's dark, but it ends up in the same result. You know, I will try one thing, though. Maybe it is related to the light here. Oh. 
Maybe you have to somehow keep the light off? I don't know. I have tried jumping the lights off. I can't even show what it does at the moment. Here's me jumping the lights off. I'm trying. The only thing is, I actually don't think there's a way to do that. There is no way not to step on this switch. Because you can't walk around, because it's blockade, so you have to walk on this switch to make it work. Like, so it's not possible to do it that way, unfortunately. It's not these things out here either. Wait till it gets dark over here, maybe, and see if Hannon changes on this side before I press the button again. There must be a way to move those platforms up, so you claim. I have not the faintest of ideas. I'll stand on this button and see what happens when the time runs out. But it was nothing, so... I... yeah... I can only jump off at one position, so I don't exactly know what it wants me to do. If you have any idea how to solve this puzzle, tell us. I, I don't. I can't think of anything. I've tried. There's nothing to interact with in this room. All things in the previous room. The only thing I can interact with is jump to my death here, but I can't jump anywhere else. And it says that we have to move the platforms up, but I. Eh? Give me any sort of hints or besides this, but nothing has moved these tombs. That's how we opened up. That's how we opened up the room. That was how. The thing is, I think that he's thinking about the puzzle previously because there's these levers here. But that was how we opened up this door in the first place, and it doesn't affect anything. In here. Okay, I see what you're talking about, two levers. Okay. Da -da, now they go timed up and down. Of course. Well, there goes that one. Well, got the door open. Ugh. Going from there, there must be a way to move those platforms up. Which means we continue on our way. That was the that literally stumped me there. My lantern. Always nice to have light back. Why would someone build a tomb that hard to get around? I wouldn't put too much thought into it. Okay. 
This looks like the entrance to the tower. Alright, you asked me to go inside, now I can move. Still think you're dead, sir. It's locked. I wonder if there's a key around here somewhere. Inventory, lanterns, turn that on. I'm gonna search every goddamn wall, it seems, to find a goddamn key. Probably in the previous room or something. No clues for this one? It's locked on if there's a key somewhere down here somewhere. Okay. A key. Oh, I see it. Durr. The lantern. You can see the shiny over there. Found the key. Well, let's go on then. <clears throat> and then our ghostly buddy follows us. Time to solve more puzzles in our way of heading upward. I feel like I can search every goddamn wall to make sure I'm not missing something. Of course, the outside of the tower is already blocked off from us, so. Oh, there's another stairway down. There's a stairway up, but there's also stairways down. I'll see what's down here first, because I'm in the neighborhood. Oh, it's an invisible pathway. These are always fun. Uh. Oh. Well, okay. I knew that was going to result in the same thing. I guess I do not touch dead ends. Yeah, because that's what I want that. Oh boy. I'm going to figure out this invisible maze eventually. All the twists and turns that one can expect of an invisible maze. I knew that was gonna be a dead end because I've already been down there before, but still though. So not over there, obviously. Was this a dead end? Oh, I think I might find the right way. Fuck! Oh, I kind of have the right idea. <clears throat> Invisible maze. Ta-da! Made it. Praise me. That's all over this. Oh, this is a boulder pushing puzzle. It's a fucking boulder pushing puzzle. Okay. I see some trickiness with this one. I've played these before. Oh fuck. And I say as I get myself already stuck in the situation, but you don't want to put the obvious ones in first. Just look at your way later. Like this one. Yeah, push it down one. And uh do the work in two ways actually. Yeah, okay, let me do it like this. Uh, okay. Just moving things. I've done enough of these in my life that I know how these kind of work. Ta-da! Oh, right, one more. I almost forgot about this one. 
There I go. What do I pull? Lever. What does it do? Lights. A light. I assume that's important, so... Yay. Let's save my game again. Now we just relocate our pathway back. Did it. And let's get on out. Oh boy. There's a second lever, which I turn on somehow. Door won't budge. Please, oh please, don't tell me I have to go back down to the gut. What do you want from me? This goddamn dungeon wants to be the end of me, apparently. Triggered the music again, it triggered that again. Let me go back up. It looks like that's shiny, but I guess not. I don't think it's down there because I've kind of already investigated that fully. So, how do I activate this lantern? I really don't want it to be in that dungeon. <laughs> Maybe there's another path on the invisible pathway here. Let me check. Oh, yeah, there is door. Well, let's do it to it. That was a dead end. Life has meaning again. This isn't even a goddamn puzzle, it's just avoid the ghost and don't get caught. There you go. Both of these are lit. I'm magical. Someone praise me. Now to get back without getting caught. There we go. Save the game again. Oh, well that works. <clears throat> Let's go. Both things are lit. Let's continue, sir. Mr. Silent climbing the tower with me. Probably a ghost. Probably going to corrupt. Anything on any of these bookshelves? Oh. Three. The winter dad. Oh, okay, we breathe dazzling keys under the sewer towers. Uh, sounds the nave is over. So that's three, four, or not six. The face in the mirror. Unleash the past and find road signs. Two. Dig it. The stink will born all wanting below the slime. Four. We command another corruptions besides the fog awakens. The twilight is hard, shifting, restless. One. Okay, so I guess I need to write some of this down. Oh, a text document. One. All sticky about the grave. You beat sinning things among the light. Yeah. Okay, so then two. Plus three. Two was like here. Two. Okay, so dig it. Okay. The stink will be born. All wanting below the slime. Works for me. Alright, now it's time for three, since I was writing all these down apparently. Three. We breathe dazzling keys under the towers sounds the nave is over four I think it was like this one oh. four we command peaceful eruptions besides the fog awaken Twilight is hard, shifting, restless. All right. All sticky about the grave. You beat 
beat sand, shine the lights, that should be five. Okay. Five. Just drying these all down. Where the light comes from, a backwards glance from which dreams. And finally, there is a six. If I can get to that in time. I did just in time. Face in your mirror. Unlearn his past and find road signs. I don't know if any of that's important. Okay, yeah, it was important to write down. All sticky about the grave. You beat sitting fanes among the light. The face in your mirror all sticky about the grave. That's one. Number two, dig it. Stink will be born. Three. We breathe dazzling keys under the towers. We breathe dazzling keys under the towers. Four. We command peaceful eruptions. Five. Where the light comes from, a backwards glance. Light comes from. Six. The face in your mirror. Ta da! Forward. We need to hurry. The sun is going to rise in less than a minute. That was just the top of the tower. You know what? You know what? Reload my save file for a second. I am ready. Let's do it to it. It's time for the tower climb. Just gotta climb the tower with timing. What? I couldn't move. Oh, I see. Top one is tricky. Okay, well, I'm gonna lose this one, so obviously. Well, let's try one more time there. If, if. if one must climb a tower, I guess. It's okay, we got this. Let's see if we can climb it correctly. Then we can. The music's good, but obviously not original there. Okay. Guy should have waited a second. Oh, that well, that worked. Let's nice jump that. I guess so. <clears throat> Those jumps were very weird. One rings a bell. And there you go, the bell is tolled. We did it! You know, he just magically appears at the top, you fucking ghost. They're about to disappear at the night so we all know you're dead. The curse of Crook is broken. The restless souls in this town are free. Now the ghost can kill everyone in the real world. Suddenly the horse and gentleman are back for some reason. That scrolling effect's pretty good though, get into that. Graphically it was good. The music wasn't original, but it was used nicely. Some of the puzzles were like, uh, I understand this was made for one of those game 
quick development contest. In fact, I think this was entered in the same contest when I made Girls Graveyard. So, you know, time competitions and all that. Still don't. As I said, yeah, games happen. That was a game. I don't regret playing it, but I wouldn't really play it again. It is what it is. This has been When the Bell Tolls. Until next time, catch you all guys again. Adieu.